Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's practice is a yoga practice for the thyroid. Uh, one of my subscribers asked me to do a practice for the thyroid. So if that was you, thank you for requesting this video. So today we're going to be doing poses that involve opening the neck and the throat where the thyroid is located. So stretching, stretching and strengthening the neck and the throat. Um, these poses will also help to improve some circulation and also just stimulating the throat where the thyroid is located. So let's get started in an easy seated position with some breath. You can close your eyes down, rest your hands on your knees. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And come back to your natural breath. Spending a couple moments here with the breath to relax our body for this practice. Your next inhale, let's sweep the arms up. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand outside of right knee. Right fingertips face the wall behind you. Look straight ahead or let your gaze follow and look over that right shoulder. Good. Take an inhale, come through the center. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, twist to the left, right hand outside of left knee, left fingertips face the wall behind you. Let your gaze follow the left shoulder or look straight ahead. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, release the hands. Let's come up to hands and knees for some cat cow, Marjariasana and Vidalasana. So hands underneath shoulders and knees, underneath hips. Start to flip the tailbone upward, drop the belly down, arch the spine, lift the chin, inhale. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone under, bring the chin down to the chest. Good. Inhale back to the first position, lift the chin, arch the spine, flip the tailbone upward, drop the belly. Exhale back to cat around the spine, chin to chest. Tuck the tailbone under. Let's do a couple more rounds of cat-cow. Again, these poses are meant to help stimulate the throat, stretch and strengthen the neck, improve your circulation. It looks like there, from what I was reading, there's been 
a couple studies on how yoga can help the thyroid. So hopefully this can be beneficial for you with consistency and with time. Let's come back to a neutral spine. Let's bring ourselves all the way down to our belly and come up for a sphinx pose. So coming up on the forearms, fingers spread nice and wide. Go ahead and separate your feet a little bit here. Bring your chin parallel to the floor. Actively pull back through the forearms. Nice and open here. Inhale. Exhale, lower the chest down. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck those toes under. We'll shift back on the knees. And then lift the hips up and back for a down dog. You could also stay down on the knees and just extend the arms forward instead for a puppy pose. But we're going to move into puppy pose after this. Good. Still a couple more breaths and down dog. Inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees, extend the arms forward. Bring your gaze straight ahead and start to melt your chest down for puppy pose. Good. If you like, you can even come up on the fingertips if that feels okay for you. Gaze forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, begin to lift the chest and walk the hands back. And come to a kneeling position. From here we'll move into Ustrasana or Camel Pose. And I'll give you a couple options here for Ustrasana. Option one. We're going to grab either elbow behind us, lift the rib cage, press the hips forward, let the head fall back. If you want more, you can take the hands and bring them to the heels. Press those hips forward over the knees, let the head fall back. If you want even more than that, you can extend the arms overhead. I'm going to bring my hands to my heels. Press the hips forward, head falls back couple more breaths here. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Gently start to come up. Bend those knees. Set the hips back towards the heels for child's pose. So we could bring big toes together, knees wide. Extend the arms forward. Melt down to Balasana. This using Balasana to counteract all the back bending we did. Take an inhale, exhale, float your body forward again, come to a table position. Let's swing those legs around in front. We'll get ready to come to a fish pose. So for a fish pose, we're going to come back onto our forearms, lift the rib cage, lift the chest, let the head fall back. If you feel comfortable here, you can bring the top of the head down to the mat. Let those arms come forward a little bit more. Only if this feels okay.
take an inhale exhale make your way back to a seated position gently so if you want to roll over onto your side and then push yourself up just to keep from straining that works let's sweep the arms up inhale exhale keep the spine long hinge forward come to a seated forward bend if you can grab the toes, feel free, but it's not completely necessary. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, roll back up to a seat. Bring those feet flat on the ground. Scoot the hips close to the heels and make your way down to your back. We'll hug the knees into the chest for Apanasana. You can rock side to side here, maybe move those knees around in a circle. Now these last couple poses can be a little bit challenging, so I'm going to give you another option. So first we'll move into shoulder stand. So to move into shoulder stand, knees tucked into the chest, start to lift the hips and make a stand with your hands underneath your hips and your elbows on the floor. And then extend your, arm, your legs up towards the sky. Now, if that doesn't feel okay, you can just do legs up the wall for the rest of the practice. So you just scoot close to the wall, bring your hips close to the wall, extend the legs up the wall, and rest here. That works just fine. But if shoulder stand feels okay, then we'll stay in shoulder stand. Again, lifting those hips, making that stand. Feet extend up towards the sky. And if that feels okay, and if you can, you can start to let those toes fall behind you for plow pose. You can keep the hands underneath the hips or interlace the fingers and let the arms rest on the ground. Good. Inhale. Exhale, gently come out of the posture, knees to chest, rolling those hips down. If you have the legs up the wall, feel free to stay there. Or you could come to Shavasana, toes reach towards the bottom corners of your mat, arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. Let's take some calming breaths here. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now come back to your natural breath.
releasing any control over the breath and allowing your body to be heavy and calm and relaxed. Next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. When you're ready, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Just taking a moment to reflect on your practice. And to extend some gratitude towards yourself for the self-care and self-love you've practiced today. When you're ready, we'll come up to a comfortable seat. And together, we'll sweep the arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this thyroid practice. If you like this shirt, you can purchase it with my Shopify link down below in the description box, and I'll put a link in this video as well. Don't forget to also check the link in my description box about joining my ch channel as a member. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace and love.